Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC again. It's very late, I'm very tired, it's been a long day. But today is a big day. We have three knives hot off the presses from Rocky Top Customs. And I just, I, I couldn't wait anymore. Couldn't wait any longer to get into this package. So let's dive right in. <laughs> This comes to me by way of Rocky Top Customs, Parker. Thank you, sir. You sweet man. Uh, this is a dense package. I sent Parker three knives. Uh, we'll use the uh, we'll use the Luft Concepts to open this package on up here this evening. Ooh boy! So I sent him three knives, and uh, we'll just kind of take them as they come. I sent him my CRK Large in Cosi in Singo for a little bit of work. I sent him my. Kunwu Tao for a little work, and I sent him my... What else did I send you, Parker? I'm... Whatever. We're just gonna dig... We're gonna dig... We're gonna dig... dig. Open last, this one says. Okay. I shall. First. Okay. Alright. Don't need that anymore. Had some distance on it. Oh, I'm so... I'm so pumped right now. That's lovely. I am... Oh, I'm so jazzed. Holy crap. Okay. Alright. Let's just peel her on open here and see what... See what the... Uh, what that good man has done. Because I for... Oh, yeah. So here's the, the Chris Reeves. We'll start here. Why not? We'll start with the Chris Reeves. I'm going to take these one at a time. So I sent this out to have all of the hardware coded to match the clip. He ended up recoding the clip just to make sure everything matchy matchy, and then I had some new studs put on, also black to matchy matchy everything else. Oh yes, dude, this is exactly what I wanted. Holy Christ! Much easier, much easier to get a hold of those studs, man, than the old ones. The old ones are like little pyramids, you know what I mean? They're just awkward. They're very pointy. These are big, chonky boys. Really easy to get a hold of. And you can actually reverse flick it without injuring yourself. Ooh. Did you put a fresh edge on there? I I don't know. Maybe it's always been that sh crazy? Love it, dude. I mean, I, I loved this knife before. But it's just... I don't know. I don't know what it is. It looks like a totally different knife. And all that's changed is the hardware's been Cerakoted. And the studs have been changed out and coated, And it's just... It's it's angrier looking, man. And I dig it. Beautiful work on the coat. Love these studs. These are not the shitty studs I sent you, pal. Beautiful. Beautifully done. All good. All matchy-matchy. I friggin' love it. Alright. Moving right along. Ooh. Oh. Yes, and this was the this was this the the other knife I couldn't remember. This is my Protec Mordax. Now it's already had some mod work done. I sent it to uh, BGM to have a hollow ground put on that 20 CV blade, uh, and then I sent it along to Parker to put real thumb studs on it for me. Real, none of that none of that clip on shit. This is the real deal, pal. Oh, oh God, dude, it worked so well. Oh my gosh, I don't know if he strengthened up that spring, but... Reverse flick is nuts. Thumb flick is nuts. Yeah, dude, something about the Mordax. This design, like, is has always been begging. It should have come with studs or some kind of deployment slot. Fair and Forge, boys, Protec. I don't know who I need to be angry with. This is how this knife should have always been. And look at that. But that beautiful hollow grind. Grind. I'm so tired. Oh, man. It's done. That's how, that's, it's all I ever wanted, man. Real studs and a hollow grind on my Mordax. I love this. I think to this day, this is still my all-time favorite manual button lock. Um, I just adore it. I just adore it. Mm, 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 mm. Beautiful. So that's two down. Pretty damn good so far. And this one says open last. Oh, boy. I know what's in this one. This is the Kunwu Tao, which I 
I had him do the most work on this knife, okay? I had him do the most to this one, so... <laughs> Apparently had to redo it, like, three times. <laughs> oh. My sweet Jesus. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is... <laughs> Dude, it's perfect. Holy shit. Holy shit. I don't know what else to say. Holy shit, Parker. What the hell, dude? I I uh, I had him go full stormtrooper on it. He I guess along the way when he was putting the spidey hole in there, he scratched the blade and I was like, "Code it. Screw it." I was like, "While you're at it, you know, can we do some uh, why don't we just go all out? Go stormtrooper." Cuz this is a very futuristic looking knife, very minimalist, very clean, kind of like retro future if that makes sense because it is such a clean design and a minimal minimal design but it's also kind of i don't know I, I don't know how to describe it rustic in a way it just feels like old school star wars tech from a forgotten era you know what i mean so let's open this thing up oh my god i mean yeah it's not even the same knife i didn't uh i i told him not to worry about putting a new edge on i'd take care of it God, dude, a couple little whatever on the clip. What's really annoying about these is the, man, that looks so good. I just, I, on a, like, there's one little bubble on the clip and I'm like, don't care. This is perfect. The backspacer, he did the backspacer, black coat, the blade, black coat, all of the hardware, black coat, the clip, whew, left the Timascus, uh, lanyard pin back here, left the Timascus, uh, uh, pivot collar. Wow. Damn. All right. And the spidey hole? Money. God, it's so good. This is how this is how this knife should have come. You know what I mean? I I rarely send out I've only this is only the third, fourth and fifth knife I've ever sent out for mod work. Well, seven technically if you count the ones that were stolen, but man Oh, oh I'm struggling. Man, that D10 is nutty perfect spidey hole perfect coat job beautiful coat job on the handles this this color is perfect i wasn't even expecting like a glossy white but it is wow parker my dude well freaking done man well done i could not be happier i legitimately could not be happier damn by the way, for those of you that don't know, Parker is donating to the giveaway three gift certificates, shall we call them, to Rocky Top Customs for mod work will be given away to the top three prize packs. So you'll be able to have shit like this done on whatever knife you win. So stay tuned for that. That is it for me. Um, uh, this one's been reviewed. Reviews coming for these two soon. The unboxings are up on the channel. I'll link them below. But uh, that's it for me. I'm late. I'm tired. We have a live stream in the morning, but I'm so pumped. I just had to get this box open. Thank you again, Parker, so much. Insanely talented, dude. Insanely well done. Couldn't be happier. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.